we are looking into large numbers of transactions and today we have a lot of human interaction and I think by the use of, of AI it will allow us to have a stronger authentication, a stronger identification of the you could say suspicious transactions in the, in the years to come. So I have high hopes of AI to support us in our quest against criminals in the area of fraud management. Having customers who don't use their account very much and then suddenly spend a lot abroad in areas that are near conflict zones, that is anomalous and we want to be able to spot that. Similarly, customers who use their card you know, a fair amount, uh, use it normally like you or I, and then suddenly we see a, a large increase in online spending and it's late in the evening. Perhaps that's indicative of their card information being stolen. So really being able to spot what is anomalous for each customer as well as what is anomalous across our customer base. And that's where I'm excited uh, about artificial intelligence. We could see AI being used for non-financial banking activities. For example, for recommending uh, best investment options, for recommending, for example, the best time to buy an air ticket based on peak uh, fares and so on. So this could be the interim use cases, but in the future that's going to expand to a much wider use case base. If I, for example, think about uh, uh, the re regulatory technology wave, the, the famous uh, Reg tech that wants to help us in order to understand better the new rules and trying to understand also the impact that these new rules has got on in a, within our organization. Artificial intelligence could be important. Our vision is that this should be used for customer centricity and nowhere in customer centricity did we say marketing. At the same time, marketing channels are usually the ones that are easiest to connect with, they're most standardized, most of that is already in the cloud. So it's the starting point for many clients. Several of our clients start to use it initially in a, uh, in a small scope. So they basically take uh, web or mobile app data and combine it with their uh, own data on, on CRM um, and media kind of information. Uh, but very much driven on marketing and sales campaigns. So understand who is this customer, what are their main interests and what is our message to them. But as soon as you see the results from that, we see that uh, from there, the same data is very useful in things like understanding risk, understanding value, uh, taking it into many other channels. Uh, and as soon as you have that proven results, uh, we see it really go very broad from, uh, from media all the way into call centers, into CRM information. It will almost certainly be what we see first, whether it's the biggest, is an increased use of machine learning to make uh, customer service respondents more efficient. So I don't necessarily think we're going to be using chatbots next week, I think that they're unreliable, but in terms of AI being able to help live or human, I don't know how to say it without it sounding very strange, customer service agents, I think that that's probably the earliest application we're going to see because there's a lot of scope there for increasing training, for boosting loyalty, for being able to, you know, uh, for governance and compliance. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's where we'll see AI make the first impact, if that's necessarily the biggest. Thank you.